is. You just found the measuring tool. Where's the measuring oh, tool? Oh, the measuring tool is here. I mean, Underneath what? Underneath the eyedropper. Underneath the eyedropper tool. Okay. All right, so now you find the line that you want to measure. Okay, so let's say it's, it's this line right here. No. Okay. So you measure one side. Okay, so I take the measuring tool. You need the info out there. Do you have the info showing on uh, the window? Yeah, I have the info showing right here. Info. Okay, so now you click, uh, select the line. Hold down the command key. Hold command and select the line. Yeah, now let go. It should take you back to the, uh, it didn't find it. Now take the uh, measuring tool. Okay. Now click one side, one point. Make sure everything goes to zero when you click. Okay. I would, I would, oh, you didn't click. I click. Okay. There you go. Now you're at zero. Okay. Let off. Let now off. click the other point. So you don't have to hold anything. Just no. click. Now that angle right there, 44.813. Okay. Enter that number under Illustrator, Preferences, General. Constraint angle. Constraint angle. And then put the 44.813. Okay. Take your ellipse tool. Draw. And just click. No. Oh. Hold down. Uh, okay. There Great. you go. You see? Awesome. Thank you. You have to hold the shift key down to get it because that's going to spray. Okay. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Does that make sense to you now? Yeah. You just got confused.